What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and luckily I'm getting my voice back. It was a crazy last couple of days with videos and streams where it finally got to me and I sounded like a heavy chain smoker, but luckily we don't have to worry about that tonight. We're going to be talking about all bundles that we currently know are releasing in Season 1, but don't forget this does not account for future bundles that will inevitably be added throughout Season 1 Reloaded releasing in January. Just like with Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War, they'll be releasing roughly 3 bundles a week for the entire season and that's typically how it's going to go for all Call of Duties moving forward. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and make sure your notifications on for all of my season one coverage and a bunch of live streams I'll be doing over the next couple of days covering Warzone Pacific. It's been a busy last couple of days but we have plenty more coverage on the way here on the channel. Now before we continue with all of our bundles let's go ahead and thank the sponsor of tonight's video. Now, tonight's video is sponsored by Opera GX, the world's first gaming browser. You can download it for free right now using the link in this video's description. It's available for both computers and even mobile devices, which makes it that much more accessible. And if you play games as many hours as I do, then you'll find a lot of great features out of Opera GX. First off, this is a free VPN. You can control your privacy and security with the integrated VPN itself. There's also an ad blocker that you don't want to use on my videos, right? <laughs> now, if you're tired of opening bright pages late at night, Opera GX can force dark pages. This new feature forces brightly designed pages to be become dark to stop the blinding glare. The feature is currently in beta and must be manually switched on. In addition, we have GX Control, allowing you to enhance the performance of your PC while playing games and having your browser open simultaneously, getting rid of the lag. It's perfect if you need to have tabs open while gaming but don't want to hurt your gaming performance. The panel lets users limit their computer's CPU or RAM that the browser uses. I think one of the best features is the network limiter. This lets you limit the network bandwidth used by the browser to gain performance in games and even streams. Look at the difference between how much memory Google Chrome is using compared to Opera GX, it really has no effect on your computer's performance. There's no need to use any other browser now that Opera GX is here, so say goodbye to lag and say hello to smooth performance. In addition, there's the Hot Tabs Killer feature, allowing users to identify the most resource-draining tabs so you can close them if need be. Furthermore, the GX Corner lets you stay up to date with the latest free games, as well as the best deals on the market for cheap affordable games, the newest releases, and the latest gaming news all in one place. You can connect your Twitch account by logging in on the sidebar to receive notifications whenever a streamer you follow goes live. In the settings, you can also add additional apps to the sidebar, such as Twitter, Discord, Facebook, WhatsApp, and even more. There's a bunch of visual design customization as well. The default art style is dark with colorful neon accents, but you can customize the browser by changing the wallpapers and any of the colors that you'd like. Now, if this sparked your interest, you can download it for free right now using the link in the video's description or pinned comment, and be sure to comment down below letting me know you downloaded it, and I'll certainly reply back. Thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring tonight's video. Now back to the video, I do want to start with this blueprint which Charlie Intel and Modern Warzone have reported over on Twitter. What appears to be a Call of Duty Ghost blueprint coming for one of our SMGs. And I'm like, wait a second, this isn't the new Ghost logo that we saw in Modern Warfare 2019, which in my opinion that signified a bit of a retcon or reboot for the Ghost group as we know it to kind of fit the new Call of Duty canon. This is actually the 2013 Ghost logo, so I'm like, wait a second, are they going to somehow merge that game into our new rebooted universe? Which as of right now, the Call of Duty canon only accounts for Call of Duty Vanguard, World at War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops Cold War, and Mono War for 2019. So maybe this is all a part of Activision's grand plan to make this huge Call of Duty universe, but obviously they've already scrapped the original Modern Warfare trilogy from our canon. It's still unclear if Black Ops 2 through 4 are canon. I don't think they are. Maybe they are, though. We also have games like Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, which are kind of just, you know, floating about. We're not sure where those games stand. And it seems like World War II 2017 kind of is canon because of the Butcher. That's kind of our only connection right now to Vanguard. So it's a bit unclear, and I'm sure we'll learn more about what this means in the future, but as you guys may have saw, I'm on over 2019, there was a new Ghost logo introduced, which may mean more in COD 2022 coming out from Infinity Ward at some point next year. But now when it comes to our Season 1 bundles, these are all the ones we know about so far, thanks to reputable websites out there who've reported on them, and starting off with a free bundle. So we're not sure what'll be included in the free bundle itself, we usually never do, but these are some images of what that'll look like in our new item shop that we should be seeing with the start of Season 1 one and they'll again probably release free bundles every you know couple of days i think at minimum once a week that's usually what happens but we first up have orange hornet so we have a couple of basic looking blueprints there which i guess you could say uh fit the theme of orange hornet i was thinking about the green hornet maybe we'll get a bundle like that at some point in the future that would be a cool crossover i hope we do get some nice crossover bundles at some point during vanguard's life cycle we then have moon forged 
which will come for, I believe, a blueprint for the katana. Unless you've already unlocked it for free, then you can also get it through this pack, which also comes with a really cool Japanese-looking skin there, so can't complain about that one. We then have a really nice pack called the Blue Thunder Tracer Pack. And like I told you guys before, I'm a sucker for the color blue. It's obviously my channel theme and my color, so I might have to pick up this beautiful looking MP40, which looks absolutely insane. And upon first glance, I'm like, wait a second, that would make for a really nice pack a punch camo over on Duran Fung. Maybe we'll get a camo like that at some point one day. But this is a really cool looking pack. Glad to see it comes with tracers and even a sniper rifle in there as well. We then have the pack known as Diesel Age. And again, some other dusty looking blueprints there. And that's the thing, I want to say all the dusty looking blueprints are probably what I'll consider filler with this game's series of bundles. But obviously the Tracers, Mastercrafts, and other uh, animated blueprints that released this year are going to be miles better than these. So we next up have a nice glance at the new combat pack coming out for PlayStation Plus users. And I have to admit, uh, the shotgun blueprint in here does look pretty nice. I gotta be honest with you about that one. And we also have a knife blueprint in there as well. Like I mentioned in a previous video, the contract between Sony and Activision this year seems to have been lessened quite a bit to where it doesn't actually contain an exclusive game mode, so to speak, for multiplayer zombies, but instead they're going to limit it to what just looks like combat packs each and every season. We next up have the Noble Death Bundle, which does come with an operator skin and a couple of blueprints there, as you can see. You got some nice gold going on there, which is nice. In case you guys don't go for gold camo in multiplayer, you can take advantage of that with this bundle here, which isn't too bad. We next up have the Curse of the Ancients Bundle, which we were able to see on the Season 1 roadmap as you guys may have already saw before and this is a nice looking skin we got some beautiful art there in the background which i believe is from castle in multiplayer one of the reimaginings we got they got brought back from world at war and the blueprints are impressive we got some purple going on there we then have uh, some gold they look nice right i think this is one of the better looking bundles and i'm not surprised why this was actually focused on over in the season one roadmap it definitely makes sense but next up have the dusk walker pack which features what i consider a scuba steve type of theme going on here i know it, it's a black suit on this character Character, but it's a cool looking skin nonetheless uh, definitely different from a lot of the other skins we already have in Vanguard and the blueprints are all right I mean nothing too special but there's a cool design going on there as you guys can see now we then have the Fox runner pack which comes with another operator skin as we can see and I like the red going on there a pretty nice piece of art cool looking jacket and it has the character known as Constance I believe that's her name and with that we also have a red looking blueprint which again looks all right and do keep in mind with these bundles we're going over in this video there may in fact be a bunch of charms finishing moves and other things that we just don't have access access to right now and we just can't see it but at least we have the main gist of some of these bundles with the operator skins and the blueprints what really matters when it comes to getting more bang for your buck and next up we have the skull collector bundle which we do know is confirmed to be a pro pack that will cost twenty dollars not cod points and these are always badass like we saw in cold war where you'd spend 20 bucks on a pro pack but it would reimburse you with 2400 cod points so it's forty dollars of value for the price of 20 and bundles might not be your thing and if they aren't i don't know why you're watching this video but honestly if you guys are interested in bundles bundles then yeah if you like a pro pack might as well pick it up because then you can buy another bundle for free with those free 2400 cod points really can't complain about that it's definitely a steal and the blueprints are all right this is probably not one of the pro packs i'm really going to be interested in during vanguard's life cycle but it is a cool looking skin there i like the kind of the gilly vibes going on here which may actually encourage more camping than anything but there you have it with the upcoming pro pack and now we have the strategic assault pack with another operator skin there and it's a cool look on this character i believe that's constance as well could be mistaken again these characters are all brand new in vanguard so bear with me if i butcher anybody's names or if i forget somebody's name it may happen we have a nice gold brown bronze looking blueprint there not too bad and yeah it's a pretty basic pack so if we ever go over a bundle that only features a blueprint or an operator skin like i said there's probably a charm a sticker an emblem a finishing move to kind of you know add more to these bundles that they're going to cost 2400 cod points or a bit less next that we have the pack known as American Dreaming. We have a nice piece of art there for our character known as Padma Vati, and the blueprint with this does look pretty cool. A bit scaly. I mean, look, there's some gold in there. I got some silver. I think I like silver a lot more than gold. I guess I prefer diamond over gold as well when going for COD camos, but it's a nice looking pack, really. Not too bad at all. And next up, we have Wild Thing. Don't know much about this bundle at all other than this operator skin for what looks like Constance once again. And judging by the art, I'm sure it will come with a blueprint for an LMG of sorts. That's what we're going to say right now. We next up have a bundle known as Black Sheep. 
And this one also comes with a really cool piece of art with Polina there holding a really nice blueprint for our revolving shotgun. So this one might be more popular. I'm sure any bundles that contain a lot of the broken metal weapons right now are going to be purchased the most, as you usually see with the Call of Duty cycle. But you know how the COD cycle goes, right? They'll typically release more blueprints for the broken weapon so that everybody buys them, and then they'll end up nerfing the weapon like a good couple of weeks after all the blueprints release for it. That's kind of how it goes. We next up have the Hidden Agenda bundle, which also comes with, I don't know what that is. There's like a piece of art here with a lock on this door. Uh, it could be something that we just don't know about yet that'll be featured in these bundles. And we also have a blueprint there, which which is basic looking. It's just a bit green. Got some white going on there. Nothing too special at all. We next up have the Flyboy bundle with our good old pilot from our Vanguard campaign. And yeah, Wade's a cool character. I had fun with him in the campaign. We're not sure what this bundle is actually going to come with. Not sure about any blueprints, but for right now, it is just a operator skin that we can see. We next up have the safety manual pack with a really sharp looking red design there on the AR. And we also have a nice uh, Mauser pistol featured in this little pack. So again, I'm sure this might come with uh, a couple of other stickers and emblems that kind of fit the vibe that the bundle is going for. But we don't have much artwork aside from that. Still nice nonetheless. We next up have a bundle known as Prairie Fire. Nice piece of art here, and it's a cool looking skin. I mean, you got some orange, you got some green, a uh, bit of a nice design. Again, a lot of these are so basic though. I think the only ones worth looking at, at least in my opinion, will be a lot of the tracers or animated camos. We do know Mastercrafts were confirmed to return later in the life cycle, probably season one reloaded at the very earliest. But for now, here are some basic looking blueprints, right? Uh, fairly average nonetheless. And we next up have the gun room blueprints, which uh, are just, <laughs> similar to the couple of last ones we went over, just green, just a little bit of white in there. A lot of these do look similar, and that's the thing with Vanguard, even World War II 2017, you're bound to see a bunch of bundles or packs that just feature color swaps on things that are already in the game. But we obviously do like when they come out with some creativity and some interesting things that aren't in the game already. But it gets better. We then have the Deadly Sin bundle. And there's more going on here. A little bit of a cleaner design, as you can see. Got some green, got some red. Looks like uh, some paint splatter there on the blueprint. And uh, there are going to be three weapons a part of this bundle, which is nice. So there's a cool looking pack. Next up, we have the Safari Shock looking bundle which the artwork is beautiful for, can't lie. It definitely reminds me of one of our campaign missions where we're out in the desert. It's nice. We have a really cool looking orange, kind of teal looking blueprint there. Uh, not too shabby at all. And we also have another orange one as a part of this. It's a decent looking pack. I can't complain about that one. And next up we have the Splatter Machine Bundle, which will feature, once again, a bit of a rusty looking blueprint, a bit of blood splatter on it, or unless that's paint. It's probably just rusted paint if I had to guess. And honestly, I would say when you look at some of the basic camels you can unlock in-game through challenges, a lot of those are better than most of these. I'm sure you guys agree with that down below in the comments, but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting so far with a lot of these bundles. Now, we next up have the Desert Relic Pack, and this one is sharp. I love the green and gold going on here, kind of a St. Patrick's vibe if I had to take a guess, but... These aren't any Tracer bundles by any means. I know there's already some free Tracers you can use in Vanguard right now if you guys pre-order the Ultimate Edition to get that Weapons Pack. And you can't even really see the Tracers too much in Vanguard, so I'm hoping that with some of these other Tracer bundles we're going to get in the next couple of weeks, you can actually see them better on your weapons, or when you shoot your weapons, I should say, like we had in Cold War, and even Modern Warfare 2019. But not too bad. I mean, we next up have a pack known as the Surprise Fury. I would say this one is just screaming, you know, World War II 2017, or just war in general. Very basic looking army design on the blueprint itself. Nothing too interesting at all going on here. And uh, with that, I think that's two blueprints featured in this pack. So we next up have the Snake Handler Bundle. A really beautiful piece of art with a snake, as you can see. But I would say the blueprint for this pack doesn't really do the artwork justice. It's just yellow. <laughs> there isn't even like a snake design on the blueprint. It's just yellow. So I don't know what they were going for here. And coming up towards the end, we have Spirited Attack with a cool looking piece of art there. It looks like a drink sitting at a bar. Then we got some bullets sitting next to it. And I would say a very, very generic looking skin on the blueprint itself. So this looks like one of the basic camels you could already unlock in game for free. But I guess people are going to pay for this one. And coming up towards the end, the very end I should say, we have Submergence. Which so far only comes with a watch. And undoubtedly there is a blueprint of sorts featured in this pack. There always is. But like whenever anybody reports on upcoming bundles, there's usually items that people report on that are missing or unknown. I mean, even COD Tracker has that issue sometimes. But also a quick plug-in to celebrate the launch of Caldera with Warzone Pacific. You can actually win money while playing Warzone over at Players 
Gamers Lounge. To get a head start, you can get $25 for free when you sign up using the link in this video's description. There's plenty more games other than Warzone on there as well. You can play solo or with your friends, and it has an instant payout system with their automated scoring and the anti-cheat. They've already gotten huge investment backing from Samsung, Comcast, Drake, and even more. Check all of it out with the links down below in the description and even the pinned comment. So that's the end of the list that we currently have. However, Charlie Into and Modern Warzone, like I said earlier in the video when they covered that Call of Duty Ghost blueprint, did show images of some other blueprints that clearly weren't on the list we just went over. So we'll start off with the holiday themed blueprints there. And yeah, there will be a Christmas sweater type bundle. Who knows what it'll be called? But there is, of course, a festive event happening. I want to say in the next week or two before Christmas, which will feature Krampus as an operator. And then, of course, these Christmas sweater themed blueprints. I am hoping for some green and red tracers on these skins. We'd love to see that. And there also are some animated blueprints coming, without a doubt. We have a red PPSH there, as it seems. I'm assuming that'll have a tracer. A really sharp looking green sniper. And then what looks like our very first Mastercraft coming to Vanguard at some point. I I want to say in season one i refuse to believe season one will end without us seeing our first mastercraft and some serious animated or even reactive bloopers i'm sure we'll see all of that but we're not gonna see it at the start of the season just for the fact that yeah sledgehammer is probably a bit behind with a lot of things i mean vanguard was made in a very short amount of time there's still a pandemic going on people are probably working from home so there's probably a lot of issues behind the scenes right now which have led to some delays in some actual cool content that we would expect from a full-fledged call of duty oh and by the way i refuse to believe this isn't a captain america bundle coming with the potential 40s action heroes this just looks way too nice to not be a part of some massive crossover event and we do know there's an attack on titan crossover bundle releasing maybe in season one but more information on it was recently found but although we don't have the names for the blueprints we just went over from charlie intel they're still a part of the season one set so without a doubt we have quite a bit of content coming on the way like i said earlier probably around three bundles a week just like cold war and modern warfare now as a bit of a bonus and this wasn't on the list here but we do have a lot of cdl skins coming out i want to say in the next couple of weeks tops maybe even Sooner than that, those can already be viewed in game though, which is strange. So, Vanguard's really reminded me of Modern Warfare 2019 in the sense that a lot of upcoming content ends up being viewable or even playable much sooner than anticipated, which we didn't really see too much of that in Black Ops Cold War. It happened every now and again, but that was really a problem in Modern Warfare, and it's already really a problem now where maps are going live early, available in local play, operator skin leaks, it's happening. So, as of now, there are quite a few CDL skins we can already see at the menu, and there you have it. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the current list for all Season 1 bundles in Call of Duty Vanguard? And as a huge reminder, we'll probably learn more details about these bundles in upcoming blog posts. I know Cod Tracker will probably update this on their database. So yeah, there are going to be some other items a part of these packs that we didn't talk about here tonight. And that's just the way this goes whenever talking about all future bundles. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody.